Well, after the hire of Brent Venables, Oklahoma's search for an offensive coordinator has proved short-lived. And much like the hire of Brent Venables, the name is not a surprise. However, that is not to say that this is not a solid hire, one that we have to talk about. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you excited about the prospect of Jeff Levy as an offensive coordinator at Oklahoma? As well as, are you excited about the hire of Jerry Schmidt, the strength and conditioning coach coming over from Texas A&M? Let me know what you're thinking about that and if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe hit that bell notification i do constant college football content you don't want to miss any of it and if you enjoy this content be sure to like and comment down below those interactions though they are small are really massive to content creators such as myself and both getting picked up and maintained by the youtube algorithm but with all that being said let's hop into this and oklahoma fans after the week they've had have got to start feeling really good about the direction this program is going to go most of them felt pretty good regardless due to the names that were being discussed. But now that you have Brent Venables, you have a defensive-minded head coach, the question became, how are you going to replace the offensive production that was lost? Because Oklahoma has become synonymous with high-powered offenses. And Brent Venables, though being a brilliant football mind, is more known for his defense. Well, that was a short-lived question because the Oklahoma Sooners have gone out and reportedly gotten Jeff Lebby, the offensive coordinator for Ole Miss, to fill those shoes. Now, Lebby is a really solid hire, in my opinion, for a few different reasons. First and foremost, he's just a really good offensive coordinator, and there will be those that point to his time under Lane Kiffin and say, yeah, but how much of that was he as opposed to how much of that was Lane Kiffin, and this is what I will say. Being with Lane Kiffin is going to help a lot, but he was successful before he got to Ole Miss. He was very successful at UCF, and his time spent with Lane Kiffin, in my opinion, is only a positive, because Lane's a brilliant offensive mind. We see what his offenses do, and I have no doubt that Lane played a massive part in orchestrating the offense as a whole, but Lebby had a key part in it as well. Lebby has produced high-caliber offenses at his stops at UCF and continued it at Ole Miss. And now he's learned from a Lane Kiffin and continue to further his knowledge. I think that right there is incredibly exciting. The second reason has to do with not only recruiting, but retaining a player that must retain for the Sooners, and that is Caleb Williams. Jeff Levy's offensive system that he just got done running at Ole Miss is one that I think Caleb Williams would find a tremendous amount of success in. Ole Miss's offense almost revolves around a quarterback that can move the ball because of its run option offensive style. Caleb Williams in that offense, I think, would be a phenomenal fit, and it has to be a fit that, at least from the outside looking in, it would excite me if I was Caleb Williams, because I have the prospect of showing off my arm, I have the prospect of showing off my legs, and especially the running backs involved in this situation. You know, I talk about Caleb Williams because he is such a key component that the Sooners must keep moving forward to make Brent Venable's life a little bit easier. But the running backs in this situation also have got to be very excited when you look at the offensive schematics that Lebby will try and bring over. It's very conducive to running back success as well. So from the outside looking in in those two areas, I think you've got to be very excited about the prospect of what Lebby will bring. Now, we need to look a little bit further because Jerry Schmidt was also brought in for strength and conditioning. And that was an area that you as Sooner fans were constantly telling me about that you wanted an upgrade. Now, once you actually went in the direction of getting an upgrade, I thought it was very easy to figure out that you should probably look to an SEC guy simply for the fact that the move to the SEC is on the horizon. You want to kind of start manifesting that style within your locker room before you ever get there. That way you can have as seamless as a transition as possible. Part of the reason why I think Brent Venables is such a good hire, we'll get into that a little bit later. But Schmidt coming from Texas A&M is a name that I think makes absolute sense. In fact, as I said in the live stream yesterday, someone brought up Jerry Schmidt and I said, yeah, if it's not he, it's Moffitt. You want one of those two guys, you got one of them. So you did a really good job in that aspect. I didn't think you could go wrong. Don't get me wrong. I said Moffitt, but when I saw the hire of Schmidt, I was thinking, okay, well, that, that absolutely works. You get another SEC guy in there, someone that's had success. So now the Brent Minable staff is really starting to take shape. Some names are starting to fall, and it's giving a lot of excitement to the Oklahoma fan base. I think that the hires you've made so far make a lot of sense from the top down. 
Brent Venables, if you haven't really heard my spiel on that, I made a video before it was actually official that he seemed to be the guy Oklahoma was zeroing in on. About five hours later, the official word came down. The next day, I had technical difficulties, wasn't able to speak on it, and we talked about it last night in the live stream. He has the ties to Oklahoma. He's going to be a vicious recruiter. In fact, we've already seen how hard he's working on the recruiting trail, and that's really what you want to see because Oklahoma was left in a really precarious position due to the timing of Lincoln Riley's exodus and the players that decommitted thereafter. Oklahoma was on the precipice of a really solid recruiting class, and now they can still absolutely get that solid recruiting class, but they have got to kick it into overtime in order to do so. So Brent Venable's already ferocious on the trail, which is what you want to see. He has that history with OU, but with your move to the SEC, that defensive-minded guy at the helm is something I think will lend itself to success. Because I know everybody's going to point to, well, offense wins championships now in this modern era of college football. And I don't disagree. We've seen it time and time again. I still think there's place for top-tier defenses in college football, but it must be used in conjecture with an offense that has the ability to score the ball. The hiring of Jeff Lebby answers that, or at least on paper answers that. And I think Lebby's going to be an individual, when you mix him and Venables, recruits are going to be excited about that. Or at least it would make sense if they were. Ole Miss had a really, really fun offense to watch. And then before Ole Miss, UCF, and we know how much flame UCF generated across the nation with their high-powered offense that they had for so many years. I'm not saying Levy was the sole reason for it, but he was absolutely a name in the continuation of that offense that was so explosive for so long. So when you look at this from the strength and conditioning coach to the offensive coordinator to the head coach in general, everything is really starting to take shape. Now, there's still a lot of names on the board that we need to look forward to. There's still a lot of areas on the staff to fill in, but it's going to be something we have to keep an eye on. But I'm very interested in hearing from y'all. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking about not only the hire of Brent Venables. I know we talked about that. We haven't talked about it in this sort of setting since it became official. Let me know what you're thinking about that. Let me know what you're thinking about the hiring of the strength and conditioning coach from a and Jerry Schmidt, which I think is a really solid hire with those SEC ties, understanding the physicality needed to make it in the SEC and to be successful in that league, or at least put yourself in a position to be successful, is something Oklahoma really needs with the move of the SEC looming. And finally, let me know what you're thinking about Jeff Levy. That's it. See ya.